very good morning my dear students so in this ppt i am going to explain you about the components of a fluid power system okay so in the first ppt uh, we studied about uh, what you mean by a fluid what you mean by fluid power what you mean by fluid power system okay so and also we studied about the introduction and what are the main advantage disadvantage application and what are the importance of uh, fluid power system okay so in this uh, uh, second ppt i am going to tell you about the what are the components of a fluid power system okay so that is about the hydraulic component okay so here uh, so each individual component we are using to work out we can uh, do the some work okay so uh, with the help of some hydraulic uh, system okay so here uh, uh, before that uh, understanding uh, the components of an fluid power system let me understand what you mean by fluid power uh, products okay now so each products or each component we can sell a individual okay or a system for the original equipment manufacturing maintenance repair and replacement markets okay so each component that is either uh, you can separate a individual value okay so and if that component is can be uh, something got correct means again we can also do the replacement okay uh, replacement we can uh, uh, do the uh, hydraulic power component okay so here uh, next uh, so next is a typical fluid power system includes the what are the uh, few, uh, different types of component okay so first one is that is a hydraulic pump or air compressor okay cylinder or motor okay and wall or filter regulators and lubricant not only this along with a tank a reservoir a pump uh, okay and electric power walls okay actuator piping these are all are the components of an uh, hydraulic power system okay let me understand one by one so first one is uh, uh, you know apart from this um, uh, that is a pump okay pump is also called as an uh, reservoir okay so the main function of a tank or a reservoir is to store the hydraulic oil that is the main function of an hydraulic uh, uh, um, reservoir or tank okay second one is an uh, pump uh, the main function of pump is to uh, drive the force uh, of the oil in the given system that is the main function of oil pump okay so here next one is an electric motor the, with the help of motor uh, we can uh, we can develop or we can take the power uh, to drive the given pump okay so and also this is what uh, it is also called as an hydraulic pump also okay the hydraulic pump or air compressor okay which convert uh, mechanical power to the fluid power okay next uh, cylinder or motor okay so the main function of a cylinder uh, or motor which converts the fluid power to a linear or rotary uh, power that is mechanical power with the help of that mechanical power we can develop the you um, can does the work okay so next one is wall okay so the main function of wall is to um, fix our uh, it will shows the direction of a pressure of the fluid okay so that is about the wall okay filters or regulator lubricant which is the which all these parts are used to what is the status of a uh, fluid okay na next one uh, so apart from that so many other uh, components are there there is a manifold hose tube fitting coupling etc okay which conduct the fluid between the components these are all small parts which are fitted in the hydraulic system which will control the which will close the which will steer the fluid uh, okay and next one is sealing devices which help to contain the fluid so it is like a container okay accumulator or reservoir which is the store the fluid okay and instrumentation such as a pressure switches gauges flow meter sensor transducer which is all, all are used to um, help the monitor to perform the fluid power system okay so these are the main important component uh, component of an uh, hydraulic power system okay so this is question is very important about uh, from the point of examination okay they will tell you explain with a what are the different parts of an uh, hydraulic uh, uh, fluid power system okay so first you write the hydraulic pump compressor i mean what is the main function of that okay so not only this eight apart from eight so many are there but these are the same main important component of an hydraulic power system okay so here uh, let me understand some definition related to this hydraulic power system okay so what do you mean by hydraulic fluid power system so fluid power is a term describe the hydraulic and pneumatic technologies both technologies use a fluid that is uh, either liquid or gases to transmit the power from one location to another the location okay so with a uh, with the hydraulic uh, the fluid is liquid usually normally called as an oil whereas in pneumatic gases usually come uh, we can use as a compressed okay so with the help of oil or liquid or some fluid we can take the power okay so normally in the mechanical devices we are we are taking the power to generate some shaft gear etc okay so in the electric power we are using to get power that is a transformer okay in the uh, third component this is a hydraulic power system means you can use the liquid or gases to generate power okay so not only generate power you can do some work so it is a intermediate uh, distance you can transfer the power okay so this is about the fluid power system okay next what are the fluid 
power cylinder used for in hydraulic power system okay so here um, as we know a fundamental feature of an it is a fundamental feature of an fluid power okay fluid power is a use of fluids under the pressure to generate control and transmit the power okay the main function of using power uh, fluid is to generate i uh, to generate the power and to control and how much you want to supply and how much you want to does the work and that is about that is called as transmit transmitting the power okay so the fluid power is subdivided into hydraulic using a liquid such as a mineral oil water and pneumatics using such as a air and the other gases okay normally this subject is deal with the hydraulic system and pneumatic system okay part b related to pneumatic system uh, while doing uh, part b section now we will explain about the pneumatic system okay so as concerned with this part a only the fluid power system which is used as the fluid okay so that may be a liquid okay now so this is about the fluid cylinder used for uh, the main function of using fluid power okay so next in what is the difference between a fluid and a power okay so uh, that is fluid power okay so flu fluid power is nothing but it is a fluid uh, which is uh, it will produces a force uh, so resulting in a linear motion in the system that is in a hydraulic system which when you operate a hydraulic uh, hydraulic system okay whereas a fluid motor produces a torque resulting in a rotary motion just to see that fluid motor is produces a rotary motion in a hydraulic system whereas in a fluid power is you know, produces a linear motion in between that, that components okay within the fluid power system in a hydraulic system okay and with the help of actuator uh, we can test the work okay so com control components such as a wall regulator of the system these are some controlling components we, uh, we are using to control the uh, power okay next one is uh, what are the main advantage of hydraulic power system now this question is very very important so sometimes they may ask you uh, what are the advantage of a hydraulic power system okay so what is the main use of this uh, uh, hydraulic power uh, system okay uh, here the main uh, mm, here the main function that is the main advantage of using this hydraulic power system is uh, hydraulic power systems are very easy to control and accurate okay because all the system you can con each part can be handled in a operator person so that the these are components are very easy and uh, we can operate uh, uh, normally okay so second is hydraulic systems are simpler and easier to maintain uh, because the system uh, uses the less mo uh, moving part okay here as an um, here the hydraulic power system all are we can re replaceable component we are fixing to the hydraulic power system though so that we can maintain easy or simple so there is not much component as compared to the pneumatic system okay so third one is only hydraulic system can be deliver constant torque or force reg uh, regardless of its speed changes okay so this is the only one system uh, which can be um, deliver a constant torque with the help of some components okay and easy to uh, spot leakage of a hydraulic system so leakage also little less as compared to other fluid system okay and using hydraulic power can be transmitted through a flexible varying lines okay the amount of forces on the driving system can be adjusted with the force multiplication so this is also very important okay and the seventh advantage is the hydraulic components allows the micrometric speed variations okay so here we can very small uh, that is a very micrometric speed variation can so we can read out from the system okay and next one is the minimize uh, undesirable noise okay so with the help of this noise so because of using fluid and the less components the noise produces also less as compared to other system okay so these are the main advantage of uh, uh, what uh, this uh, hydraulic power system okay along with this uh, we have to study along uh, disadvantage of hydraulic power system so in the examination uh, so if you wrote advantage it means you write ad disadvantage half of that don't write uh, more than eight advantages okay uh, so here the main disadvantage of uh, this hydraulic power system is to maintain a requirement of a hydraulic system sometime uh, if you use a, a high speed there is a chance of leakage of fluid okay uh, which will create the environment problem and some health problem also okay so that is a safety issue Okay, second one is contentment present in the hydraulic fluid will damage the system performance and productivity okay hence it uh, requires a continuous filtration so if your fluid contains a large amount of uh, raw material then it will damage or it will be the tear wear of the hydraulic power system so that a filtration is very very important in the hydraulic power system that is can be used uh, continuously okay so next one is uh, uh, that is a wrong selection of hydraulic fluid for a system will damage the component so particular component we are use we have to choose the correct fluid okay if some by mistake if you are using fluid some other than the, that particular not belongs to work then there is a chance of damaging the components of an hydraulic power system okay so next one is the proper maintenance is required so every day we have to clean we have we have to check we have to proper uh, cleanness is required okay otherwise it will uh, uh, all the liquid will remain there in the component so that the day will come that all the parts of an hydraulic power system can get uh, damaged okay so proper maintenance every day the operator can should uh, 
clean uh, every day of all the parts of an hydraulic power system okay so these are the some uh, uh, advantage disadvantage okay so just to remember this from the hydraulic uh, from the this ppt just what are the components of an hydraulic power system and what are the advantage disadvantage okay so this is very very important mm, okay in uh, next slide we will show the with the diagram of these all the parts of an hydraulic power system okay so just remember this uh, pump uh, cylinder motor walls filter regulator lubricants lubricants manifold hose to fitting sealing devices accumulator reservoir these all are the parts of an hydraulic power system okay just to remember this i hope uh, this ppt you understand uh, thank you